Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called The Crudes, the latest DreamWorks animated feature about a cave family living in prehistoric times. It stars Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, Catherine Keener, George Leachman, Clark Duke, and Ronald Reynolds. And it's directed by Kurt DiMeco and Chris Sanders. The movie begins when a cave family known as the Crews have discovered their own journey of a lifetime, such as doing their own physical activities and chasing animals for their food. And during that night, they always hid inside their cave home in order to protect themselves from danger. That is until their daughter, Eve, had just followed the light between their path uh, at night and discovered a boy named Guy, along with his pet, who basically has his own ideas by building his own fire and many others. He also discovers that the end of the world is rising and all their caves and mountains are going to be destroyed, including their land. Well, the next morning, after his father found Eve you know, running around at night, he soon found out that all of this predicament that Guy has mentioned was true and since then the cave has actually been destroyed and all of a sudden the crudes themselves had discovered an incredible new world that they never thought they'd seen before a beautiful tropical rainforest that has many animals and lots of trees and plants and water all the way around but with the help of Guy, they decided to discover that there's yet another incredible world beneath the mountains, and it turns out to be tomorrow, which means there's a new world that's beyond the caves in the mountains. There have been so many DreamWorks movies I've seen that, that tends to be as good as it can be, and this is actually one of them. Um, after the last movie that I've seen, such as Rise of the Guardians, I did enjoy this one quite a bit. I think this was one of the greatest movies that DreamWorks has ever made. Um, I like the fact that they they once again made a, another movie that, that deals with cave families living in the prehistoric times. And they had a lot of great characters, a very good story, and very breathtaking animation that you never thought you'd see. Um, it's totally amazing. It's also very funny too. I, I love all the funny moments with the fodder, <laughs> as well as the the grandmother too, I mean with the cane. Everything was just hilarious in this film. And I, I really inspired the look of it too. I really, I still think, you know, DreamWorks is once again starting to accomplish some breathtaking animation right there that I think they really need to continue with since, since some of their previous films are getting into that uh, generation because so far they made um, How to Train Your Dragon and that had an amazing storyline right there with breathtaking animation this is the kind of movies that DreamWorks should definitely be doing nowadays but I think they're really getting there so far it's also good to see that the first DreamWorks movie that's being distributed by 20th Century Fox after the last film with Paramount Pictures which is Rise of the Guardian, as I mentioned. And I think it's definitely worth watching. I saw this movie in 3D just recently, and I thought it looked amazing. I think it definitely got better for animated films, more than 3D movies for live action, in my opinion. Because to me, it just seems like the live action movies you see in 3D doesn't look that good at all. Although I have to say, Captain America did look okay for 3D, but for the Avengers, it didn't do much for me. But as much as I love the Avengers, which is, which looks a lot better in 2D, and, and it's one of the best superhero movies of all time, I still think that it was better off in 2D. But this one was definitely an accomplishment that they ever did. But I had to say, Chris Sanders did a very good job directing this movie, and he's the co-director of this film. But he did an amazing job. I mean, so far with his 
previous work with Lilo and Stitch and How You Train Your Dragon, he can definitely make a movie like this. With a very good storyline, wonderful characters, even hilarious ones too. And just an aspiration look of what on what the world really looks like. Definitely worth recommending. Although it did have some cliches, mostly, you know, typical prehistoric cliches that you see in, in movies, but that's okay because it's meant for that. And there are some flaws in the film, basically, but otherwise, it's a fun movie. I definitely think you should check this out if it's playing in theaters. Otherwise, wait until it comes out on DVD and Blu ray. To see for yourself. So anyway, I give the crudes three and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.